Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Halloween special from Margin Gaming. Obviously, what can we do for Halloween except scare someone? And our victim will be me, obviously. Who else are we gonna go? Out on the street and scare people with the cover of Amnesia the Dark Descent? Look, a cover! I suppose we could go and, I don't know, blow wind through doors and maybe that'll scare them, but yeah. Best way, scare the crap out of me with Amnesia the Dark Descent. Without further ado, well, let's get started. It's a blind let's play, and it, well, it's not a let's play, it's a couple of... Uh, <laughs> It's basically an hour of me playing Amnesia The Dark Descent. It will be split up into three episodes. I'm hoping to upload them all in a day, or maybe I'll split them over the next three days. But still, it's gonna be me playing Amnesia The Dark Descent, and you know, everybody says that this is supposed to be a very good horror game. We'll see. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Yes. I am Daniel. No, I'm not. I'm Michael. You're Daniel. And I'm gonna control your mind, Daniel. Because on Hollow's Eve, spirits descend from other universes and take over your body and make you do things like move left or right or jump or use objects. Oh look, bloody trickles. From the roof. You guys see anything on the roof? Nope. Well, get up. Shaky. Well... This is an Egypt of Dark Descent. Press J for journal. Notes, mementos, and diaries. Memento. Follow the liquid trail and find its sources. Diaries, I'm pretty sure, are unavailable, and notes probably the same. No notes available. Hmm. For quick access to your mementos, press M. Backy backy. A memento has been added to your journal. Well, this is Amnesia the Dark Descent. I can jump, I can crouch, and I... Whoa, this is nice. This is very nice. You know how in games usually when you walk, you actually float across ground? Here you actually feel the steps. And that's a good thing. Wind. So, I have to follow the liquid trail. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Gee, I wonder if I'm supposed to go over there. I don't know. I'm a completionist, so I'm gonna go in every single room. Oh, look, a can. What's this? I Apparently I need something to... Is this a candle? Yeah, it's a candle rack. I need to use something to light that. Probably some sort of matches or something. I said it's a blind let's play, I have no... Did I fall on... Daniel, get the hell up! What have you been smoking? What, can I grab... I grabbed this guy's head! Awesome! Oh, apparently I have to hold down left click to keep items. Well, I don't want to follow, I want to go that away. Let's see. Uh, right mouse to throw it, hold R, and move the mouse to rotate the object. Oh, that's nice. But I want to get out of this house. <clears throat> wow, Daniel throws like a little girl. Break the damn window. Okay, let's say that these grates are actually metal bars. Just throw it at the window. Damn, you throw like a girl. Apparently, I have to follow the... Uh, blood spatches. Well, I can either go that way or check out this big door. Uh, what have I been smoking? What has Daniel been smoking if doors make him look like that? What's it? Oh, I pressed tab. All health is good. Sanity. Crystal clear. Well, it better be crystal clear. Even though I have no idea who Daniel is and 
a couple of moments ago, ago he was mumbling something about rem the wind seriously that's how they're trying to scare me wind and Daniel's breathing apparently what's this and I've picked up tinder boxes ten bucks that that's what I use to light candles and such oh look a small room what have we found in the small room another tinder box and a bottle of wine I'm gonna sit down and have a drink oh when I was young <laughs> Horror games used to scare the crap out of you in the first five minutes. Now there's this bullshit with wind. I can't handle this shit. I'm gonna... Fuck it. Ugh. Oh, I actually broke the bottle. Apparently that... Um... Why did the bottle disintegrate? Well, in that case, I fucking... I'm gonna throw a chair in the fucking fire. I can't take this. Ugh. Wow. Well... So much for this is so strange Daniel is lopsided he has one foot shorter than the other stand up straight you dumbass anyway we're moving on following the little puddles and I believe I have to what the oh push the door open okay it's it's very clumsy, the controls, and how the game feels, and I suppose that adds to the atmosphere. But, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, after playing Dead Space, and that is a very... Earthquakes, footsteps. The game is very atmospherical. Very... <laughs> I'm trying to be brave. I'm failing at being brave. Oh, stop falling down, Daniel. Come on, get up. Get up. Get, get, get up. Get up. Get up. There we go. Seriously, what the hell has this guy been drinking? Everything looks okay here. That's my inventory. I have a lot of inventory space, so this game might be using a lot of items. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two points for me. No door here, no door here. What else? That door opened. What's in here? Well, apparently... Oh, more Tinder. Which is nice. Finding Tinder is nice. Because I have a feeling that this is gonna be... What the... Why is everything so shaky? Seriously, stop smoking stuff, Daniel. That thing has yet to stop shaking, really? Well, let's make the other one shake as well. Daniel, you throw like a little girl. Try that again. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Blood says go that way. Very, very nicely lit room in there. Let's see, what do we have in this? A shirt! A shirt! Do I get to take it? Apparently no. I'm probably walking around naked and I don't even know it. So, this is a very nicely lit room and this is a horror game based on atmosphere and the window is... Sh and as you can see, everything is moving. I'm not moving! That's just the game rotating itself. I don't want to go in there. Leave the door wide open. This might be nicely lit, but I think something's gonna happen. I'm just gonna hug the wall here. There it is. Beware, while standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Ah, get out of the darkness. I have a slight headache. But. Okay. Is there anything useful in this room? Nope. Out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I don't want to go insane. So basically, sanity reduces in darkness. And this is a very dark game. And I have nothing to actually use to light my way. That's a nice lighting effect. Still, so many windows and I just 
I'm not getting the hell out of dodge, which is strange. Strange. I should just get the hell out of dodge. So now I'm in the old R hives. Hmm. I have to say, I'm afraid of something. Not the game itself. See, in general, horror games are have two ways of scaring you is either one with the atmosphere such as Amnesia is doing right now and it's doing a very really good job with a very nice atmosphere the sound effects I've turned down the volume quite a bit but hopefully you guys can still hear it I can hear it because of the awesome new headphones yay um, so it wants to scare you with atmosphere just induce a terror a sensation of something's gonna happen something very nasty is gonna happen soon and you know the feeling of restlessness until that stupid wind. A feeling of restlessness f until that happens is uh... Oh, God, it's it's good at what it does. It's crea it creates tension, basically. Ooh, more tinder. Random bugs appearing out of nowhere. Head is pounding and shaking, obviously. I wonder how you get back sanity in this game. If you stand in light, does that mean you get back sanity? That'd be nice. No more tinders. Nothing behind these boxes. Nothing in these steps. Okay. Enough with the darkness. Let's move on. Follow the yellow brick road. And, yeah. Tension. But the problem is, any game that gives tension has to also break it with the, you know the spooky moment the bleh moment some games don't have that some games um, just use the scare factor the something oh my god something unexpected just happened and and that is a tension breaker and that usually happens a lot it scares you it's a cheap scare but it's it's the way you break off the tension and you start setting up for a new scare. The problem is some games, uh, and the fear I have with Dark Amnesia, it's that... It Stop being a pussy, Daniel! It's the wind! I wonder if there's another level under that. Um, let's see. I have to head that away. What do we have here? Oh, pick up a lantern. I picked up a lantern when filled with oil. Pressing F would give me light. Ah, nice. At least that will reduce the sanity that is drained. Anyway, uh, my fear with, an with amnesia is that it will just build up tension and nothing will happen to actually scare me. And the problem with that is simple: tension builds up and builds up and builds up, and, and eventually it'll fizzle out. It's just how it goes. Come on. Oh, ow, I just hit myself over the head with it. And yeah, attention fizzles out if you don't have the scare moment. Take another earthquake. How's my sanity looking? I love that the brain is actually decaying and you can see just little things on the brain. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Boogie boogie. Um, and if and if the game doesn't break the tension, it, it, it just goes on and the tension fizzles out and you're no longer scared. And it takes a long, long time. I did not want to do that. Well, at least I have a little light. Um, it takes a long time before the tension builds up again, if the tension just fizzled out. Hopefully that won't be the case. Hmm. What else do we have here? A chair. That's a note. Notes mean notes mean quest thingy. So I'll just uh, look around before boxes, boxes. Let's see what else. All a lot of chemicals marked with X. Somebody's very smart. I'm sure he's not gonna mess it up and, you know, combine them. A secret lever. Well, let's see. Thank you to Baldur, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. 
Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. So, yeah. That was weird. So I have to murder someone. Now, this is a little strange because if my former self really has a good enough reason to kill this Alexander, why would he say murder? Murder is something that you breed out of hate. If you have a higher purpose, then it's not exactly murder, is it? But we'll see. <sighs> nice. Secret passageway for the win. Where are we going? Oil level. Great. And oil. That feels a little bit better. To the entrance hall! So apparently we have to m murder a decrepit old man. And if you guys weren't paying attention, while Daniel was talking, I drew a little penis with the mouse. Because, yeah. How's my, uh, how's my sanity look? Oh, nice. Sanity gets regained, I think, by probably solving stuff. Blood spittles. Ah, what do these do? Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Well, I have to say that Daniel's voice actor sucks, but Alexander's voice actor is nice. What the Sam hell is that? What in the Sam hell is this oozy, zergy kind of thing? Is this creep? Am I gonna find a hydrolyst soon? Apparently I have a note. No, sorry, a memento. Some sort of organic tissue block that cannot be dissolved. It can't be torn by hand or tools. Fair enough, apparently I have to... Ew. Birdies! Let's see, what else do we find here? What the... Oh, nice, that was a box. Oil! Oil, oil, oil. Oil is good. Tab, and... Come on, drag. There we go, nice. Almost full. What else do we have? Chairs, I like tossing chairs. Bugs. Damn bugs. Let's grab a chair. Throw it at the bug. I missed. Let's grab a book. A book should be a little bit better. Okay, press R to rotate. There we go. And right at the bug.